Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Pride, honey. Hi, if it's your first time, nice to meet you. We're gonna go over bacon chicken pasta today. It's been on the site for a few years. So we're using beef bacon. I wanted to show, this is my favorite brand of beef bacon that I can currently find. And beef bacon seems to be becoming more popular. And I just wanna say, if you find beef bacon that says that it is like formed together, that's not beef bacon. You want beef plates. I don't care if it's cured or uncured, but you might. Also using salted butter. I'm using chicken breast. This is about a pound and a half of chicken breast. I diced it up into cubes about half inch in size just because if you want to leave the chicken whole and cut it up afterward, you can do that. I like to do it beforehand. Um, there's more surface area to get a little bit crisp and to char and to season and I just I like it that way. We're also using grape tomatoes. This is low moisture mozzarella and some aged parmesan that I shredded in the food processor. This is about eight ounces so about one cup of spinach. It's going to wilt down to nothing so feel free to double it if you want to make it. It's not going to you're not going to have to change anything else if you decide to double the amount of baby spinach. I'm also using heavy cream, a full pint of it. I'm going to season the chicken with salt and some of my homemade blackened seasoning. And I'm also gonna use this Papa's Pepper Dragon Dust. It's extremely spicy. So if you pick that up, you can get it on their website. Um, the Dragon Dust version is the extra spicy one. So just use it, be mindful when you use it. Um, also, using cavatappi for the pasta. It is my favorite type of noodle, short noodle especially. Um, and I think it'll go really well here. Also using some kosher salt and some black pepper and salted butter if I did not mention that. But only enough butter, only butter if needed to help cook the chicken if there's not enough um, fat left over from the beef bacon. But yeah, now it's time to season the chicken and then it's time to cook everything. So the seasoning, the prepping the chicken is really, is really all the prep work um, other than shredding the cheese. So let's, let's season our chicken. So I'm gonna use about you know, a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of salt. And I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of blackened seasoning. This chicken is a bit moist, um, just like from preparing it. Um, there's no oil or anything in the, there's no oil. And you can use whatever kind of seasoning you want for your chicken. If you don't want to use a blackened seasoning, this looks nicely coated. So now it's time to cook. This pan has been preheating over medium high heat for about like five minutes. You don't touch it. I got mom hands, so I can touch this. You. Bacon is one meat that I don't have any problems browning in the pan. Because we all know it's going to shrink like I almost dropped a piece of bacon. So now this piece of bacon, I'm gonna eat this, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a decent amount of grease here, um, kind, of, kind of a lot actually, um, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to make sure that I drain the chicken well when I remove it, so. I'm gonna cook all of this chicken in one big portion. I mentioned that we were gonna use this dust. Then I forgot. And then I totally forgot about it. So I'm gonna do what you should never do. 
You should never do what you're about to see me do. Do not sprinkle your seasonings directly into the pan. This will cause them to spoil and to go bad faster because the steam that's rising, moisture goes right inside these little holes. Now you shouldn't use this much. This will probably kill you. We're gonna let this cook for about six minutes. The heat is still on medium high. Um, I have, my burner grows from, you know, one to 10. It's on, it's between the seven and the five. So it's kind of on the six. Now we see the white stuff starting to come out. So we know that it's done on one side and it's gonna cook through very quickly. It'll take maybe, maybe two or three minutes for this to cook all the way through. Um, but we're just gonna kinda flip it. And then that's the only time we're not gonna mess with it again. We're gonna reduce the heat to medium low. All right, it's been two minutes. Now I'm gonna use uh, my straining spoon. I just wanna make sure that I leave as much bake, like if there's any extra baking grease, I'm gonna make sure I leave that in there. Now the chicken is cooked. I forgot garlic. So, let's add that in there. Two tablespoons of butter. Let's add in our tomatoes. And yes, I washed it. I washed it a long time ago, though. So now it looks fine. The color, let that wilt for just a little bit. Now this is wilted. Our cherry tomatoes have popped. Now it's time to build the sauce. Oops. A pint of heavy cream. We are just gonna stir it up. The seasoning from the chicken. Should be sufficient to flavor the sauce. It might need some salt, but it shouldn't need any more like of the blackening seasoning. Okay, and I actually want more sauce. So I'm gonna add in a cup of whole milk as well. Let's give it another stir. We don't want to add too much salt because keep in mind there's all that seasoning on the chicken and then we're also going to be adding crumbled bacon. So if you add too much salt here, it might, you know, be a little overwhelming and a bit salty if I, when you mix everything together. Reduce the heat and cover it up. And then it's just gonna simmer on low for about 10 minutes. Oh, our bacon, we're gonna cut this bacon in pieces. Y'all, I forgot the cheese. I forgot the cheese. I forgot the cheese. So, hold on. This, oh my God, what is my problem? This is another reason why 
you want to be gentle with the amount of salt that you add to this because you also are going to get salt from the cheese, especially the Parmesan. Don't forget the cheese. I forgot the cheese. I forgot the bake. I mean, the garlic. Good Lord, get it together. Now with beef bacon, you will sometimes, I don't know if you can see that very um, severe like white line that's going down it. But when that happens, that is, that's really not edible. Like you can eat it if you cook it long enough, but in general, um, that white line is not edible. So when you're done crumbling your bacon, it's gonna leave that tendon. Yeah. So, not, I'm sure you can tell that this has thickened up quite a bit. So now at this point, the sauce is ready. So now we're gonna switch places. Let's move this pot right here. We have salted water. And we're just gonna bring it to a boil. All right, at this point, my family had come home. We were watching Ted Lasso in the background and I'm not trying to get in trouble because you can hear that. Um, so voiceover, I boiled the pasta. While the pasta was boiling, I went ahead and stirred the chicken into the sauce. And then I let that simmer uncovered for about a minute, minute or two. After that, it was time to add in all of the crumbled bacon. Well, not all of it. I like to keep a little bit back and sprinkle that over the top of individual servings. But, you know, that's optional. It's not necessary. Um, but once all that is stirred together, you're going to drain your pasta really well. If you think you might need more sauce, like if you like a sauce of your pasta, you can reserve about half a cup or a cup of pasta water. And you can add that to the sauce along with the noodles. Also, I'm using like a pretty big vessel here. It might make more sense for you to pour your sauce into the vessel that you use to uh, to boil your noodles. Just make sure they're drained first. I don't want you to make a mess and get sauce all over your kitchen. But that's it. Then you just plate the pasta. Like I said, if you want more sauce for your pasta, you can either add more milk or cream in the beginning. You just might need to increase the seasonings. Um, or you can add in pasta water when you're mixing everything together. The pasta water is already salted and it also has starch from the pasta that you cooked in it. So it will thicken up along with the sauce and the pasta as you stir it together. And as always, thank you for spending a few, actually like 13 minutes of your day with me today. That's kind of long. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye.